everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to show you how to create this background for your cards. And what I'm using is the um, Celebrations range from Spellbinders and it's the Your Day set of stamps. Now if you take an A4 piece of card and fold it in half and then cut it in half, you will have two pieces that will make you two very nice sized cards. Now from this stamp set I'm using the It's It's Your Day Celebrate and I've added it to a block with grid lines on it just to make sure that it's nice and straight. Now I've got a piece of white stamping card that is larger than my card base but I'm going to trim that down when I've finished. Now I'm using the grid lines on my mat and I'm lining my card up so that it's nice and straight and then just to make sure that it doesn't move I'm just going to tape it down with a little bit of a washi tape. Now you need to mark that card out so that you know that your your writing is going to be I won't say straight because we're doing it on an angle but at least it will all be level. So I'm using, I'm starting off with this large thick grid line and I'm taking my ruler and I'm placing it on that grid line. Now on one side I'm just going to make a little mark and on the other side I'm moving up two grid lines. So I'm missing one and I'm going up one. And then I'm going to put my ruler on a slant and very lightly I'm going to make a ruler mark. And then I'm going to miss one and move up one. And miss one and move up one on both sides. And move my ruler up and make a very light pencil mark. So miss one, go up, miss one, go up and join the two dots together and I'm going to do that until all my card is filled with these grid lines. So I'm going to do the same and work my way to the bottom of the card so I'll miss one and come down, miss one and make a mark and join those two marks up. And these marks will be removed once you have um, stamped it. So they just need to be very light pencil marks. Okay, now once you've done that, you can add this to a piece of card so that it doesn't, your stamping doesn't go all over your craft mat. Now I've taped this down to just some scrap paper and I've got all my grid lines on it and I've got my grid lines on my block. So what I need to do is make sure that my grid lines on my block are lined up with the grid lines on the card and I need to put one of these complete sentences doesn't matter where but I need to put a complete one right in the middle of the card so I'm going to stamp this up and I'm going to put my first words down So once you've got your first set of words down, you're coming back to the same line. You're going to line up your grid lines and you're going to press your stamp down. And then you're going to go to the other side and do exactly the same. So now if you look, you've got part of your words on either side and the full one in the middle. So now you're going to stagger the next line. You're going to use your grid lines again and you're going to press your sentiment down. And then ink it up again and repeat the process and you're going to do that staggering them as you go along until you've filled the whole card and once you've filled the card this is what it will look like. Now you can do it in any colour that you want, you can use any um, sentiment that you have that will make a complete block and then once you've done that you've got a really pretty background for your cards. 
So I'm going to carry on stamping this and then we'll move on to the next bit. Now you must make sure that your ink is perfectly dry and then you can take in an eraser and you can get rid of all those lines that were on your, your base card. This is why you need to put them in very lightly because if you don't they're going to take quite some time to rub out and you may not get rid of them completely. So there we are, they've all gone. So now what I've done is I've created um, a little mat in black for my, my words and that's going to be added to my base card. So now I'm going to work on the topper that will sit on top. So from the stamp set I've taken the elephant and I've taken HB which is happy birthday and I've added them to a block and I'm using Versamine, Versafine which is a black ink and I'm just going to stamp the elephant onto my card and then while the ink's still wet I'm going to add some embossing powder. This is clear embossing powder. So we'll tip the rest back into the little jar and now I'm going to heat emboss this ready to be coloured. So once you've got your background mounted onto some different coloured card, you can just add it to your, your base. And then you're going to back your topper once it's coloured with the, the googly eye in onto some of the same matching base. And this is a good time now to cover up any mistakes that you've made in your stamping. So I'm just going to pop mine along there and there you've got a very pretty birthday card for for a child if need be or it will do for an adult don't forget you can do your backgrounds in different colors but you can also just color out an image and um, a fussy cut around the edge and add that to your card instead so there you've got a couple of ideas on how to use this kind of background And don't forget to clean your stamps when you've finished so that they're ready for use again next time. So what I'm using here is the Celebrations um, True Colour Fusion Stamp Cleaner. So I've just squirted a little bit on and just cleaning off the, the black ink. Now it may not come off completely but as long as it's clean it doesn't it won't harm the stamp and it won't discolour your card the next time and then all you need to do then is pop them back onto the stamp sheet and they are then ready for use again the next time you want to use your stamps. Mm -hmm.